Let's start with that breaking news from the Post that former Trump associate Roger Stone met with a Russian national uh, to try to learn damaging information about Hillary Clinton in 2016. Was President Trump aware of this meeting? I doubt it. I, I certainly uh, didn't know about it. It's, a, it's news to me. I just, I just read it here in the Washington Post. It seems to me, however, whatever the recollection, differing recollections about this, it sort of gets resolved with the fact that go, uh, Stone did nothing about it came to the conclusion, according to the Post, that it was a waste of time. He and Greenberg came to the conclusion that it was a waste of time. So I, I can't imagine anything got back to the then presidential candidate that uh, was of any substance if he had concluded it was a waste of time. I guess the weird thing about all of this is we keep learning about these meetings that members of the Trump team had with Russian nationals that the Trump team had either not disclosed or, or lied about before, whether it's the Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr., Paul Manafort, and Jared Kushner, or George Papadopoulos meeting uh, with that London professor with ties to the Kremlin. Now we hear about this. It all makes people in the public, I think, wonder why all the lies about this or the well, misrepresentations if nothing bad or untoward ever happened. The, the, the earlier meeting, I, uh, you know, I don't particularly want to go back to because I think that then kind of explained and over-explained. However, this one, I can see why Stone might not have uh, focused on it because the guy had nothing to offer. The guy was uh, doing everything he could to disguise who he was. Uh, you, you read off a couple of names that he had. Most extraordinary thing is on some document he re described himself as an informant. Every informant I ever had tried to keep that secret. I mean, that was, you, don't, you don't like say, oh, I'm an informant. I can come to the United States. So it sounds like a very strange guy. Uh, was he an FBI informant or not? Well, we know from, from the... Uh, uh, from the probe by the uh, inspector general, and the FBI at the highest levels here were doing very, very unorthodox things, uh, if not out and out illegal and, un and unethical. So would they be using a guy like this? I doubt it because he, he, you don't just say you're an informant. So you, you don't buy the idea that this was necessarily a sting uh, that, the way that Stone and Caputo are suggesting? Uh, 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 oh, uh, how do I know? I mean, uh, I would not discount it. Uh, the report gives you all sorts of interesting uh, leads to other uh, possible unorthodox investigations. And I think I'm being kind by saying unorthodox. But no, I can't say that it's, it's connected to that. But I, sure, I, I believe that the Mueller investigation should be investigated, not because necessarily of Mueller, but because of its genesis in this very, very uh, now completely uh, almost uh, illegal and unethical probe, this Russian probe, that began by, with Peter uh, Stroh's in charge, uh, and he didn't leave it until July of last year. So you, you're calling for a special counsel to investigate the special counsel? <laughs> not, a, not so unorthodox. I mean, it, it's happened. No, I, I'm saying the Justice Department should do it. And I'm not really saying the special counsel. I'm saying what led up to the special counsel. I don't think Mueller and his people uh, need to be investigated unless something comes out of that. Uh, remember, you got a bunch of odd things that led to the appointment of, of Bob, which is fir first uh, we have this Russian probe that looks like it was rooted in. They are turning around the people that were investigating Trump, uh, investigating Hillary, who had, I think, completely screwed it up, according to the Horowitz report. And, and, and Horowitz concludes ultimately no bias, but he does conclude that almost everything was done wrong. Second, uh, that then turns into the Russian probe, which they make uh, uh, a priority. Right. That one, they have not made a conclusion about bias yet because they haven't investigated it yet. Right. I think the independent, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the inspector general is begging to investigate it. He's saying, let me investigate it because we can find out the bona fides of the eventual Mueller investigation, including it's being premised on Comey's illegally leaked memo. I just said a bunch of illegal things that usually leads a court to say the thing is tainted. So they may come out with a lot of problems if they don't get this resolved right now. Yeah, just to be clear, uh, Inspector General Horowitz did not conclude that Comey had broken the law. But, yeah. but, but, but uh, I want to move on to, to President Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, who's now in jail, awaiting trial on 25 criminal charges, including allegedly wit witness tampering. President Trump responded to this on Twitter, quote, Wow, what a tough sentence for Paul Manafort, who has represented Ronald Reagan, Bob Dole, and many other top political people in campaigns. Didn't know Manafort was the head of the mob. Obviously, he's joking there. <laughs> what about Comey and Crooked Hillary and all the others? Very unfair. The president's used similar language before, very unfair, tough sentence when talking about 
pardons and commutations, uh, such as for Alice Johnson, Scooter Libby, Dinesh D'Souza. You floated the idea uh, of pardons uh, with the New York Daily News a couple days ago. If Manafort is convicted, will President Trump pardon him? I guess I should clarify this uh, once and for all. I think I have. Uh, the president has issued no pardons in this investigation. The president is not going to issue pardons in this investigation. And my advice to him, you know, as long as I'm his lawyer, is not to do it because he had just cloud what is becoming now a very clear picture of an extremely unfair investigation with no, no criminality involved in it of any kind. What? I, I want that to come out loud and clear and not get clouded by anybody being fired, anybody being pardoned. When it's over... Hey, he's the president of the United States. He, ha he retains his pardon power. Nobody's taking that away from him. He can pardon in his judgment based on the Justice Department, counsel's office, not me. I'm out of it. Right. Uh, uh, and I shouldn't be involved in that process because I'm probably too rooted in his defense. Uh, but I, I don't want to I, I couldn't and I don't want to take any prerogatives away from him. Sure. He's obviously, a, he has that power as endowed in the Constitution. But let me ask you, how do you respond to critics who say, you discussing it on TV, you discussing it with the New York Daily News, President Trump tweeting that you're sending a signal to defendants in a criminal prosecution that a pardon is out there and might be on its way. Uh, people, some people think that this is the president and you suggesting that signaling really uh, don't cooperate with prosecutors because a pardon is there uh, if you if you just hold on. Jake, I don't think that's the interpretation. It's certainly not intended that way. The, what it should be, and I'll tell you what I clearly mean, what I mean is you're not going to get a pardon just because you're involved in this investigation. You probably have a higher burden if you're involved in this investigation as compared to the others who get pardons. Uh, but you're certainly not excluded from it if, in fact, the president and his advisors, not me, come to the conclusion that you've been treated unfairly. Um, I mean, that would be wrong to do that. And really, nobody else can exercise the pardon power but the president. Some people can recommend he's got to make the decision. And in the scope of pardons, it's true. These would not be that unusual. In, the, in these political investigations, as you know, Jake, going back to Nixon, Ford, Reagan, uh, Carter, Reagan, rather, uh, even, even, uh, uh, even Bush and Clinton, these, these uh, pardons happen in these political investigations. That doesn't mean they're going to happen here. Doesn't mean that anybody should rely on it. Please listen to what I'm saying. And the president, a big signal is nobody's been pardoned yet. If you're going to do it, it probably isn't the time to do it, to cut it off. There's nothing to cut off. Right. But there is a lot of unfairness out there. We don't know yet the full scope of it. The so, Horowitz report has given us a little of it. Look, these guys saying that uh, Trump should be defeated. Right, right, right. We should do everything we can. We should take action to stop him. That's very unusual stuff. FBI agents taking bribes in exchange for information, five at least. So bribes, we've got to get what, to the what do you mean? What bribes are you talking about? You're I'm talking, talking about, about that part. I'm talking about that part of the report. I think it's the fifth chapter in which they talk about reporters they, taking them to baseball games and stuff, baseball games, right. vacations uh, and other other things of value in exchange for confidential information. It doesn't about it about the it, investigation. It, it doesn't say that, though. It says that they found out that some reporters had, had done some things and uh, they're going to investigate further. It doesn't say oh. bribes. It doesn't say well, uh, in exchange for information. Yes, it does. Uh, in exchange for information, it, says. it doesn't say bribes. You're correct. But it does say in apparent violation of federal statutes and regulations. Well, the federal statute, OK, could be gratuity. Uh, but it, it, would, it would lead to the firing of any other FBI agent and possibly the prosecution. I don't want to jump ahead to that. But that's, that's why the investigation is so important. Uh, I want to ask you uh, about uh, the comment uh, that President Trump uh, made uh, the other day. Uh, the uh, team has already acknowledged that the statement that Trump gave uh, about that meeting at Trump Tower uh, with the Russian government official who had promised dirt on Hillary Clinton, that that uh, original explanation was false, that it was misleading. Uh, the president was asked about this on Friday. Take a listen. Let's not talk about Mr. it. You know what that is? But can you it's tell irrelevant. Us? It's a statement to the New York Times, the phony, failing New York Times. Well, just just wait a minute, wait a minute. To clear it That's up. not a statement to a high tribunal of judges. Understood. That's a statement to the phony New York Times. So now, obviously, it's not illegal, Mayor Giuliani, to lie to the American people, to lie to the press. But isn't it wrong to lie no matter what, no matter who well, you're lying to? Well, of course it's wrong to lie. It 
breaks one of the com uh, commandments, I think. Uh, however, he, the president's distinction is a correct one. Uh, uh, lie is a, is a heck of a conclusion. I mean, it's, it's one you worry about with prosecutors and perjury. But the reality is, in a situation like this, there are going to be a lot of differing recollections and a lot of corrections are going to be necessary. That's why you don't want to go under oath until everything is settled and you're sure of your recollection. Uh, I, I'm actually confused myself about that meeting. First, first of all, uh, I don't. I don't think she. I don't think she was a government official. The woman who who, who profited. No, but she had been. She had been it, when she, when the email was sent to Donald Trump Jr. It was told. He was told that she was a Russian lawyer, a Russian government lawyer. Oh, a government lawyer. I just thought a Russian law, a lawyer like, you know, I'm an American lawyer, but not a gov government lawyer. Uh, but OK, in any event, I don't know if she was described clearly as a Russian official or just a Russian lawyer. It led to nothing. It led to no information, just yeah. like just like the thing with Stone led to no information. So all these things are kind of dry holes. All right. I want to ask you one more thing, sir, uh, before you go and go yeah. celebrate uh, uh, Father's Day. <laughs> you said something uh, yesterday about the agents and investigators working on the Russia probe that raised a lot of eyebrows. Let's play some of that sound. Instead of investigating President Trump, they should go to Bellevue. Yeah. Yeah. Wackadoodles. Yeah. Ah, we want Hillary. What's going to happen? I need a psychiatrist. If you're talk, talking about prosecutors and FBI agents who said they're wackadoodles, they should go to Bellevue, the psychiatric hospital. That was nice. There were a lot of people who were shocked and disappointed to hear you, a former U.S. attorney, oh, come on. attacking prosecutors and FBI agents. Well, I'm sorry. I had to put prosecutors and not FBI agents, but other, other law enforcement in jail when I was a prosecutor. Never shrunk from that responsibility. Some of them are unfair. Some of them are unethical. The guys who were taking vacations and tickets, and they, were, they should be prosecuted. And the ones I was talking about were the instances where people are described as crying when Hillary lost. I said, if you're an FBI agent or a prosecutor that's crying and you work for me, I'm sorry, I'd send you for a mental evaluation. And you shouldn't be working on a case where you have such a severe bias. And excuse me if I think that doesn't affect your, your, your judgment. But you don't, you, you don't agree with the people who say that you've gone beyond zealous advocacy into undermining federal law uh, no, enforcement just officials? The just the opposite. If you fail to recognize the crimes, unethical behavior of federal law enforcement officials, you are undermining our system of justice. If you call them out and you do something about it, which the Justice Department hasn't done yet, but has to, then, you're un then you are reaffirming that, that no one is above the law. And uh, that's all we want here. We want, the, we want the Mueller probe to be investigated the way the Trump administration has been investigated. And we'd like to see a report with the conclusions. And we'll find out then, is it as bad as some people think? Or is it what I think? Or is it nothing? Mr. Mayor, happy Father's Day. Thank you so <laughs> much for you, your Jake. time. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.